What's up, YouTube? It's Fitzbro with your season five map tier list. We've got all the maps currently out there to play, and I'm gonna be ranking them from S being the top of map to D being a trash map. We all know it's basically like Dry Arabia than everything else, but we'll go through them. As always, let me know if I get it right or if I get it wrong or what your order of these tier lists would be down in the comments. So with that, we've got Twitch chat here. They're all gonna be letting you know what they think as I put them in the wrong spot. Let's do it. First map we got. Now, first thing I think, you know, we've got three map bands, right? We got three map bands. So, you know, where do I, are those automatically D, D tier? Yeah, our map bands automatically D tier is a question. So I'm just gonna throw them in the D category and we might move them around. But if I ban them, they're clearly pretty low. Okay, so for me, my bands, Boulder Bay. Right now I have Volcanic Island ban, which I would probably put above Boulder Bay personally. And then I also have the Pit band. So the hot topic, should those all be D tier because I've banned them? I'm not sure, but let's put those there and we're gonna come back to them in a bit, okay? In a minute. So, I mean, this this is Dry Arabia and uh, there's there's no question about it. Dry Arabia is a S tier map. You could play, I could play Dry Arabia. If I had one map left to play on a desert island, it would be Dry Arabia till the end of time. Like, I wish they just made Dry Arabia in 10 different colors with different animal spawns and stuff. And I could play that all day. Dry Arabia, it's just a standard open map. I don't think anybody dislikes Dry Arabia. Okay, so Dry Arabia, S tier map, easy to do. Okay, we've got a, a new map for this season, Golden Heights. Now Golden Heights, I'm just gonna set it here. I'm not placing it there. It's got this pond in the corner. Uh, and then it's got a sacred site in the corner up here, this little cliff. Now Golden Heights, um, I personally am never a major fan of hybrid maps in the first place because what I dislike, dislike about hybrid maps is it typically forces you, your hand at what civilizations you're going to play. Because certain civilizations are particularly dominant on water slash hybrid maps. Right? And I don't enjoy that. I want a map and feel like I could pick any civ I want to play on it. And I feel like the, the land maps more so, some of the water maps is like you have to play these civs. Um, and for that, usually hybrid maps go down a little bit. Now, as far as hybrid maps go, Golden Heights, I probably like more than most. I feel like it's out of the way enough that it's not like, it used to be like, you think about like Mongolian Heights, where there's a river down the middle, or you had like uh, a Danube. And it's like, if you lost that hybrid water, it's still like the boats controlled half the map or most of the map, right? So what I like about this hybrid map is you could not have water, but your land army is not going to get shot by boats. Now that doesn't mean your enemy is not going to be massively ahead because they've got deep water fish, the fastest gatherer in the game. So for that reason, I'm going to land Golden Knights here in the B tier, which is high rating, I would say for me, for a hybrid map. But I think it is, uh, it, I think it's a B tier map. I see some people in chat saying to C, if you got a good argument, let me know. B is where I'm going to put it. Because if I had like Mongolian Heights or Danube in here, like they'd be here-ish. And I think it's above that. So I'm confident with that. Golden Heights is going to be a solid B here. Now, another map here. We've got Hideout. Now, I've just remembered I actually, I have Hideout is the map I have banned right now. It's not one of these. So Hideout, I'm going to bring down here into the, the slums. I, I really, you know what's crazy is how much of the maps are really lopsided. There's like a good map, good map, medium map, like four or five shit maps is how I feel right now. It's like there's, there's a good, I could, I would, I, I wouldn't lose an ounce of sleep tonight if I just left all these in the D tier right now. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. So we'll let Hideout hang out there in a second and we'll deal with this trash tier of maps here in just a second. Okay. So we have got... Uh, this is High View. Now, High View is definitely not a Dry Arabia category of a map, right? It's definitely not an S tier. It's a land map, rather open, but Stealth Forest and a little bit of Stealth Forest, okay? This map is Stealth Forest freaking central, and it's like every single game is Roos 
And if it isn't roost or no matter what it is, it results in tons of keeps and tons of towers and tons of walls because you don't have vision and you don't want to get caught out. Um, so it makes really long stalemate games. I don't like the stealth forest uh, a ton, at least not in this quantity. And I would say it's a high B tier. I, I think it's a high B, B tier, quite honestly. Um, and that might be giving a little, I mean, that might be giving it a little more than it deserves, but I think hideout, hideout is about a, a B tier. Um, okay, next we got Hill and Dale. Now, Hill and Dale, if you've been on ladder, you know, you get Hill and Dale, about 90% of your Qs, you're going to get Hill and Dale. Um, we, we're finding out who all the Roos players are in the chat, right? All the Roos players are. I like a, I like Stealth Forest in, you know, limited quantities and flavor formats, not just like the whole freaking map is Stealth Forest, personally. Um, okay, Hill and Dale, okay? Now, Hill and Dale, they've made some significant changes to this one. Now, there's only one gold on your hill, right? And there's a lot of resources in the middle. Now, the gold does seem to typically spawn forward, which it didn't used to always do before, but apparently it does, and it's just a small one. And where I would have put Hillendale in C or D categories, I feel like seasons ago, for whatever reason, I have not minded the new Hillendale, which is kind of crazy. I can't believe I'm saying this. And it might be a hot topic. I, I think it's because it's like you got to give some a little bit of credit because there's not a lot of good to work with. And I, I, I feel like Hillendale is a B tier map right now. Like, I don't think it's trash. I think the improvements are certainly better on it. I think it's Hill, 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 Hill and Dale, Rescue Rangers. I think it's a B tier. This is blasphemy. Where would you put Hill and Dale, chat? We're going to put Hill and Dale on B for now. I feel like this is not going to be an even, an even tier list because, I mean, how could you put any of these maps even close to ranking with Dry Arabia? How could you put them even close to Dry Arabia? Okay, last one. This is Marshland. Is this called Marshes? Marshland? I think it's Marshland. It's got the the the, the wild man on them, right? It's got the wild man. Um, you know, I've seen people have very, very strong opinions about this map. I don't like that you can't raid people. They have very safe resources. And if you have the Civ that is like oppressively an aggressive civilization, you just have control over all of the the fish that are everywhere in the middle of the map. There's also the RNG factor right now of like, do you get the wild man? Uh, but I've had fun like doing some weird cheese strats on it. But I think just knowing, I I, I don't think this is a B tier map. I think this is a, a C tier, I think is where we maybe put this. Um, And now we've got to look at our D tier map and decide if we're going to calibrate some of these other changes here uh so i i'm i'm not joking of like i don't i don't think a single map here gets within even one ranking of dry arabia i think dry arabia is so far in front of all the other maps that like nothing else can be an a tier the pit is a absolutely not absolutely not but for that reasoning i'm leaving our a tier like it is because none of the other ones get close to it this could just be called dry arabia and then we're gonna have a b and c and d but uh okay so nothing else is gonna be a we're gonna leave that where it is um let's see how we balance the rest of these out okay so let's see if i can move anything up from the d tier so we got boulder bay absolutely a d tier hideout absolutely a d tier and we got the pit and volcanic island which i'm a little more unsure about you know what i wouldn't put the pit on the same grounds as these two and honestly, if I had to choose between Bul Volcanic Island and Boulder Bay, I would choose Volcanic Island any day. Now, the people who just oh, love water maps, you know, the people who were playing French all of season one, they're like, oh, I love Boulder Bay, right? But for me, that one died with me with my soul during the launch of AOE 4. I don't want to ever play Boulder Bay ever again. Water maps are fun. I'd rather play Archipelago or Warring Islands than play Boulder Bay, personally. Okay, D tier. That's where it's going to be. That's solid. That's locked in. Let's look at the C tier. 
Could anything move up to here? So we've got our marshes, we've got the pit, we've got Volcanic Island. I think the only possible argument for moving up might be the pit, but I think I got so triggered from last season of every freaking game on the pit being, let's say it out loud, chat. What civilization do you think your opponent's gonna be playing when you queue up on the pit? Let's see if, if chat's got the answer. What civ are you gonna run up against in the pit every single game? I see chat's got it. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. English, there it is. Yes, and uh, that kind of grinds my gears a little bit. It's just English fest every single game. They seem to the drag on. If it's not that, you've got some kind of crazy trade going on. Pit's a C tier map, guys. I hate to break it to you. It's not moving up. And then we look at the B tier. We've got our Golden Heights. We've got our High View. And we've got Hill and Dale. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to touch A tier, but if I was going to move something up from here, uh, it pains me to say it. But if I was gonna move something up from here, I think it might be high view. I think it might be high view. That, folks, is gonna be my season five map tier list. We've got Dry Arabia at the top, high view. B tier, we've got Golden Heights, Hill and Dale. In the C tier, we've got our marshes. We've got Volcanic Island. We've got the pit. And in the D tier, we've got Boulder Bay and Hideout. Let me know what I got right or wrong down in the comments below. And check out, I've got some fun cheese build orders on the channel right now. Ottomans, English, Mongols, whatever it is. Go check it out and come catch me for one of my live streams. Switch.tv slash Fitzbro. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.